The big week, as we know, for the Fed. First of all, you have Larry Summers taking his name out of contention. Many people now believe Janet Yellen is a shoe in be the next Fed chair, or at least be nominated. Our next guest says no, that might not happen. Plus, we have the two-day meeting and the tapering and everything else to talk about with John Brown, senior economic consultant at uh, Euro Pacific Capital. Always willing to speak his mind. He joins us today from Boynton Beach in Florida. So, John, if you're not uh, for Janet Yellen, who are you for? Well, I, I don't know it, so it's an absolutely wide-open guess. I really? mean, I think people like Ferguson could be a, a candidate, very good candidate. He's very experienced in the Fed also. Uh, he's an outsider at the moment. I think uh, that Obama is very embarrassed over Syria. Uh, he's smarting. If, if Larry Summers was his real candidate, he'd be smarting over that. That's a big if, of course. Yeah. It may have been a, 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 fly, a fly kite. Uh, and, but I think he'd be slightly bristling at Yellen being chosen by the media and by certain Democratic uh, uh, Democrat so, politicians who are, may have deserted him over Syria. Are you and saying may what have a, you may have a see, candidate from? Are you saying what you want to see happen, or kind of what you've? Had? For example, Janet Yellen is. You're right. The media. There's been a lot written about her. She's seen as the as the favorite. We showed Donald Cohn there a moment ago. Charlie Gasparino has been reporting that Tim Geithner has been pushing Cohn as a possibility. Roger Ferguson was also uh, in the mix on the screen that we showed you a moment ago. Um, and uh, there's Cohn. So, are you saying who you'd like to see when you say no, not Yellen, somebody else, or is this based on something else? Oh, no, there's no one near enough of a hawk <laughs> in the candidates on the horizon that I see. Right. And I think That's Obama, I with a chance, Obama, with this massive turnover that's going to be in the FOMC, at least five out of seven retiring, and if Yellen isn't selected, probably she would resign. So that would be six. And there's a marvelous chance for Obama to pack the FMOC uh, with socialists. With and what? I think uh, he's hmm. with socialists. I mean, uh, progressives. <laughs> no, wait, and, socialists. Uh, this, no, but that is—that's a word as we've talked about the last few years. It gets kind of thrown around. I mean, that's a little. It's, well, it's just for you're people, saying that for effect. Uh, you don't really believe the next Federal Reserve chairman is going to be a true socialist. I mean, you're saying that for effect because you're worried about well, something, right? Well, uh, my great ma mistress, I should say, in the, in the right context of the word, master, Margaret Thatcher, whom I served under for yeah. about 15 years, said, you know, socialism's great until you run out of other people's money. And that, and that is what we have with the Fed. We have a private company with no audit, no taxation, a complete monopoly over creating and pricing the world's reserve currency. And I mean, what better thing could you have for socialism than this? It's a piggy bank for the government and many other governments because these dollars go all over the world. So I actually mean it. It wasn't just for effect that socialists are there and that most of these people are going to follow the same sort of lines as Greenspan who politicized the Fed and right. Bernanke who has party politicalized the, spread, the Fed. And so it's now almost a sort of More democratic of the same, no Fed. Really I mean, that's going point. to be Right. Low rates, well, low for I, too long would be the argument from people that you've been making for a while, that propping up and all that kind of thing is what you just the, more of the same, basically, it sounds like is what you're worried about. Yes. So, and yeah. so uh, the candidate, the, right. the candidate I would like to see is so different to that. Right. Uh, I mean, more the, in the Volcker, the Volcker mode. Yes. And that's, who only uh, visited the White House once in his entire time. That's not going to happen. Uh, and, it's uh, pretty much a fair bet at this point. Uh, it's always good to I talk agree. to you seriously, John. We have to go now. But uh, thank you, as always, John Brown, for coming on. <laughs>